Hi, it's David in the Stained Glass Studio. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about this design right here. Uh, as you can see, it's a bunch of panels and there's nothing to make them strong. Now, not all designers are gifted. And the designer that gave us this uh, we talked to her client and came up with another design and sent it and it would have been great. It was more beautiful, it was prettier, it was stronger and they went back to the old design and this is it. Plain and simple. These are side lights by the way. But if we had, well we just built them just like that and they were so weak and wobbly they would break apart when you pick them up. So what we did was we put some eighth inch zinc. So you can see it's eighth inch. And we put it all the way around. Now, there was another design which was uh, uh, more strong. And we're going to go in the back and we're going to look at it right now. And here it is over here. This one has a much better design because it's at least interwoven. And, uh, but we went ahead and put um, eighth inch zinc on there. So it's nice and strong. Look at that. I mean, you can pick that up and it just now once it goes in the frame, then it gets greater strength, so it's not that big of a deal. Now over here, this one, we had, you know, there was an opportunity. We could have put the brake marks every other one instead of going straight across. And uh, then it would have been stronger. But uh, as it was, we, we had gotten the design and gone back and forth with the the designer who didn't didn't understand glass at all and so now what we're going to have it do this does not have any zinc on the edge so we're going to put a zinc border on this now okay i'm spreading this out now you can see that it kind of deforms it as I spread it. Then I'll be able to get it onto the glass. But I'm spreading it out because, first of all, this is kind of narrow. And second of all, this has already got some tinned uh, uh, copper foil on here. And so I have to get over, be able to get over that. And... Uh, I am also going to slide this over. We're going to have other people helping us with it. And not everybody knows how to handle stained glass. In fact, we've even had uh, people at a, uh, at a glass company that would do uh, pieces for us and they would actually break our glass so okay this is spread nice and wide now now as I come to each of these sections I'm going to bend the metal back just slightly so there'll be a little bit of a curve, a little bit of pressure here, so that it'll it'll try to hold itself against the glass.
want to make sure and hold on to it in such a way that you don't if you slip you want to hit you not the Did you have to add a lot of flux to it to get it to stick or? No, this was uh, probably a, a newer piece of zinc because it just uh, went on perfectly. All right. We got a whole bunch of zinc that's old and I don't know what we're going to do about it. We're getting a new box. So we'll use the new stuff first. With the old stuff, when it came to the corner and it didn't, the solder didn't stick, I had to really clean it off. I used a brush uh -huh. that was like that, that was really wire brush. Is that a I, copper brush? Oh, I don't know. What color is it? Looks, copper. Okay. So anyway, I had to really scrub and then add a whole lot of flux and then it would stick. Okay. But I had to work at it. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to flip this, this around, right? So even though this is a very simple design, I think it's going to look very elegant in the home. They wanted just uh, just simple lines. These are the side lights. There's going to be another one over the top of the front door. And then another one that's similar to this that you saw that had the X's. That's going to be in um, a similar part of the house near the front door. So it is going to be beautiful. And we made it a little stronger to be able to carry. So we won't worry so much when it's being installed that it will accordion and just uh, fold all over the place. So I'm excited to get it installed and just make this house even more beautiful. And so thank you so much for being here in the studio with us. Whenever we learn something, we pass it on to you so you can try it in your own studio. So be creative and find different ways to make beautiful stained glass and hang it in your home.